Atlanta uh, Caribbean community calendar. We had our awards show and, you know, clap, clap, clap to me. I won an award. So I'm all excited about that. I've got to tell you a little bit more about the community awards and how everything went down. So we'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of the show. But I would like to bring my guests on. I don't want to keep them waiting because, like I said, they are very, very busy. So um, Josh, um, I saw him on the camera. He, Oh, here he is. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Cassie. How are you doing? Thank you I'm for having me. I'm doing great. Of course, of course. Thank you for thank you for even taking the time out to come and spend just a little time with me to tell me all about your amazing business and yeah. more importantly, well, how it all started. Yeah, because I was, I was um, <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, it's good. My I was at the store. My sister said somebody just called to do an interview. I was like, I totally <laughs> forgot. Let me run home and make sure I do it real fast. <laughs> Oh my God, that is, you know, when I called, I called, she was so full of life. I was like, oh, they're up and running. Everything's great. And she said, no, I'll, I'll let Josh know. Because I didn't get a response from you. So I was a little worried, but I'm like, I'm sure he would. Because he's he emailed me. He, he also um, connected on Instagram. So that's how we got in contact. So I'm so thankful that you're here. I won't keep you long because I know you're busy. Yeah, but no. um, I just wanted to... What kind of moved me about your story is when I, I came across it on Kelly Clarkson. I actually didn't see it on the show, but I saw it afterwards on Instagram. And I was totally moved by your story um, and just your family story and seeing your dad and, you know, all the hard work that he's put in prior to the deli being open. So tell us a little bit about, um, of course, where you're from. I know you're from Diana, where I'm from. So I got my flag. So tell us where you're from and how did this dream start to open that's Delhi? All right, so my story begins with my dad, basically. He was born in Guyana, my dad and my mom. And then he moved from Guyana to America really young. When he moved mm -hmm. here, he was with my grandma all the time in a bakery she used to work at. So he grew up in that bakery. And as he grew up there, he started working there also. That's where he met my mom. Yeah. And, and they end up having me. And me growing up, I see my dad working for people his whole life, them promising him things and never fulfilling him the promises and just yeah. all breaking his heart. And I just always see him down and always see him sad because people that he loves are always disappointing him. Mm. And I see that he has so much potential behind him, but he just doesn't know how to save his money. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do everything I can do. And I'm going to save up this money to make sure I could take care of me and my family and get us a store. Because I know if I get a store for our family, then I know we could do great things because I've seen my dad done build up so many other people. Wow. So I saved up my money and I got us the store. And when I got us the store, I knew we had to do something different because there's so many Caribbean spots in Queens. Yes. <laughs> So I'm like, absolutely. Yeah, they're they're everywhere on every block, every corner. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a deli. So you know, yeah, you'll find a deli or a Caribbean spot on every corner. So I told my dad, I'm like, we got to do something different to stand out because you have amazing food. So every night I'm just thinking of different things, and one night I made the mac patty, and I looked at my little sister and I said, post this on Instagram. We're gonna go viral, and mm -hmm. she posted it and we really end up going viral and it's a blessing because now everyone's getting to taste my dad's food. It, it's helped me and my family so much. It's, it's, it's brung so much more than I ever thought it would bring. So yeah. it's, it's keeping faith and, you know, staying positive. You never know where it could take you. Oh my gosh. You, you know, I'm almost like, I can, you know, I can feel my eyes watering just hearing your story. That is such <laughs> a lovely story. Um, and the thing is, I'm from Guyana. I wasn't born in Guyana. My parents are Guyanese, like your parents. I was born in the UK, but of course, British Guyana, you know, you all yeah. kind of follow the same <laughs> system. But um, but I spent my early, some of my early years in Guyana going to school and so forth. So I grew up eating the food. And let me tell you, whenever, wherever I go, if I can find Guyanese food, and because we are six races, we cover a whole span of different types of food. So we, we basically cook everything and support everything. But you're absolutely right. You do have to find that niche, something that is a little different that sets you apart. You can never go wrong with food. We all need food. But when you taste good food, that's when you can't go back to bad food. you got to continue with that. So I'm so happy that what you guys are doing. 
Um, so tell us a little bit about the Mac Patty. What exactly is the Mac Patty? So a Mac Patty is a Jamaican beef patty cut open. And then we cut open a butterflop also. A butterflop is Guyana's bread, basically. And we cut that open. We put the Jamaican beef patty in it. We'll throw some macaroni and cheese in it. And then you could put any protein you want on top. Our most famous one is our macaroni with oxtail. But you could also put jerk chicken, goat curry, shrimp curry, barbecue chicken, fried fish. The oh, is, this the, is this just the sauce or is this the actual no, fried actual fish and protein. jerk chicken? Yeah, this is the actual. Oh, my protein. Lord. And then after you put the protein, we have different sauces you could put on top. So we have a curry sauces you could put on top. We have uh -huh. jerk sauce you could put on top. We have barbecue sauce you could put on top. We have oxtail gravy you could put on top. So you can mix it. We let people mix it up and do whatever they want. So it's like I tell people all the time, it's it's like Burger King have it your way, but it's yeah. a bunch of behind the counter. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something. I saw the video of um, you on Kelly. I'm actually going to, if you don't mind, I'm actually going to bring it to the screen so that people can see what I'm talking about. Because I don't know if they actually saw it. The um, okay. So let Let's me just, let me just rewind this to the beginning. So talk okay. us through what's happening In here. the bread. In the bread. Oh, I love your family. Okay. Yeah, so Look at all God. this. Look at all. Made a jerk chicken one. Yeah. And it was her first time ever seeing it, trying it, and she loved it. It was it was a great, it was a, such a great feeling to let people see Guyanese food in such a front in their front their faces. Right, like, yeah. Sure. Also, because you know, for not for nothing, we're such an amazing race and culture, and people mm -hmm. don't know about us. Growing up, I tell people I'm from Guyana, and they say Ghana, and I say no, Guyana. No, it's Guyana, a, right. <laughs> You know, and it's a whole discussion, but you know, I'm feeling me and a lot of other people were pushing the culture forward and people's gonna know what Guyana is. Oh my God, I'm so glad you said that. Absolutely, I do. Wherever I go, I take my flag, all right? Everywhere I go, especially now that we're gearing up for Atlanta Carnival. I don't know if you've, if you've ever been to Atlanta Carnival. I know Labor Day is not till September, but Atlanta has um, a huge Guyanese population. And um, we have a great association here. There's not a lot of Guyanese, like 100% Guyanese um, eateries. There's Guyana and Trinidad, and I've seen, um, you know, some others, but it's not many. But the ones that we do have, they sell everything. And like you said, there's just such a vast amount of, um, a vast amount of foods that you can choose from. So when you were on the Kelly Craft show, what did she did she actually take a bite or was this just for the screen? Yeah, no, she actually took a bite. She ate she because I made the oxtail, she made the jerk, and then uh -huh. she took a bite of the um jerk, and then I was like, Yeah, you gotta try the oxtail also. So she ate both of them, she loved them, and I, everyone in the staff ate it also. Really? It was, oh nice. Yeah, I brought a lot for everybody so everyone could eat. Yeah. It's so what's the point in wrapping it like that? So I can see that, you know, you wrap it after you put everything on it. Okay, so I like, so presentation, I say people eat with their eyes before they eat mm -hmm. with their um mouth. So presentation, mm -hmm. eat. So when I wrap it, it's to wrap it and make a nice firm patty. So when I cut it open and you see the section inside of it, it looks absolutely beautiful. And then you just throw the gravy on top. It's like a, It's like art for me when I'm doing it. Oh my God, I can't imagine. So how do you get your mouth around so much? That's that's almost, it looks impossible. Do you have to cut it, it up? <laughs> it's, it's a big bite. It's a big bite. And and trust me, I, I was I used to think the same thing. But once you wrap it, cut it, and then it's in half, it's it's it's, it's a perfect fit. It's a little messy, but it's... it's oh, it's, yeah. It's such a great... And then it, it, it combines so well, the combination of everything. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think it would mesh so well together but it just it, it tastes like it's supposed to be like i don't know how <laughs> nobody thought about this before oh my god well let me tell you something this is not the type of food you're going to take a date you can't this can't be your first date <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not, not pretty eating this no no this i just see myself sitting down somewhere by myself probably at home in a corner trying to eat this because yeah i would have to cut it up in so many pieces but I tell you something, when I come to New York, I am coming to find you guys. Um, so how many um, delis have you got so far? Are you going to do a chain? I can see this being franchise. What's yeah. the plan? So 
I have um, five brothers and sisters, and my mm. plan is to make sure all of them have their own store. Right now, we have two locations. Our first location is in Hollis, Queens, 19001 Hollis, and then our second location is in the Lower East Side, Manhattan, and mm. that's 69 Clinton. And then yeah. um, we'll open up in Orlando, Florida. So we're just, we're keep working. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to take what God gives us and see where we go. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, you got to come to Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Atlanta is right after Florida. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. I'll be there at the opening. <laughs> okay. I yeah, will. Uh, it will do. It will do really well in Atlanta. Yeah, no, I trust me. I was going to do Atlanta before Florida, but my older sister's in Florida, so I know if I get the Orlando shop running, I can have mm -hmm. my older sister run it very easily. The thing about Atlanta is I'm going to have to go move to Atlanta for a couple months when I do open it to make sure everything's run smooth because I don't want random people running my business and not knowing what yeah. they're doing make it sloppy so i gotta make sure i'm there at the atlanta location to make sure everything is running perfect before i leave to go start the next one yes yes oh absolutely i could see it being something similar to slutty vegan i don't know if you've heard of slutty vegan yeah. over here in atlanta she's done amazing things she's about to open up in the airport as yeah. well so oh my god you get an airport location it's over yeah, I know. It's I mean, over. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep pushing and whatever God gives me, I'm taking, you know, like I never thought me and my family would be where we are today. We've mm -hmm. been through so much, but you know, that's why I want everybody to know. One message that I push to everybody is just please keep faith and hold on because it's when you lose faith is when you give up and you don't know what's going to happen, but just yeah. keep faith because you never know where and what life will take you. You never know. I'm 31 <laughs> took 30 years for me to get where I am now. And if I would have wow. gave up, I never got here. Oh my gosh. And, you know, being as young as you are, you've got so much more to offer. I'm telling you, franchise. Either yeah. franchise the business or just keep opening, you know, around the country. Yeah, no, that's it's, what I'm going to It's going to happen. I'm going to keep pushing. And I know... I meet the right people. Once I rub shoulders with the right people, things are going to become easier. Certain people is going to see the vision. And it's, I know what I have is something that could really build financial wealth for me and my family forever and just take care mm -hmm. of all of us forever and the ones that come after us. And we just got to do what we got to do with it and do it right. Oh, my gosh. Definitely. Definitely. I think just um, even before you were on Kelly Clarkson, the business was doing extremely well anyway, because I remember in the, in the video, the clip that I watched, you said once you posted your Mac, you know, the Mac Patty and it went viral, there was a line across, you know, around the corner when you got yeah. to your store. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing feeling um, waking up every day and thinking like, yo, you just, you really invented something. You made mm -hmm. something. Before you made a Mac Patty, nobody was saying the word Mac Patty. Nobody was thinking about it. Nobody had ate one. No one has seen one. Now it has so many people copying it. Yeah. As so many people like replicating it. And it's just, it's an amazing feeling to know that you can create something and it could just take over like dramatically. And it's just... It's 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 such a crazy feeling. Like I still wake up every day thinking I'm dreaming because mm. who would have thought, you know, putting macaroni in a beef patty and putting some good flavor on it, it would change me and my family's life. But I tell people all the time, it's not the Mac patty because other people are making it and they're not doing as good as us. It's my yeah. dad's food. It's my yeah. dad's food and the love that I have for my family that pushes our store so much. Yeah, it's your passion. It's your passion. And the thing is, trust me, I, um, I've i tasted many mac and cheese, like so many. You know, there's some people who think they do it the best. There's some people who, you know, want to put more and more and more and more cheese. There's so much to mac and cheese that you've got to get it right. Uh, the pasta can't be a certain way. You know, you got to cook it right. The sauce, the cheese that you use, so much goes into mac and cheese. that People take it for granted. It's just macaroni and cheese, but it's not. If it yeah. doesn't have a good taste, you you know, we'll know. And then, of course, on top of that, I'm looking at the, the video again. You've got the sauce. The key is in the sauce. Put more yeah. gravy, gravy, you know, however you call it, sauce, gravy. Yeah, the juice. everyone loves the gravy. <laughs> that's part of it. I tell everyone that gravy. And then that's the thing. 
um, it has a lot of people trying to copy us and mm -hmm. they're, they're trying to copy, but they're not doing it right. And yeah. I give people, I give people the sauce. I tell them straight up, it's, it's butterflop. It's not cocoa bread. It's not going to mm -hmm. taste the same as cocoa bread. A cocoa bread is very thick. A butterfly yeah, is, butterflop is, is nice and moist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Soft. It's good. Like <laughs> a butterflop is really good compared to a cocoa bread. And I'm not hating. It's just facts. And then also yeah. they're, they're making a Jamaican oxtail. That's very brown. We're mm -hmm. making a red stew oxtail. That's more like a pepper pot. Ooh, so oh my our God. oxtail is yes. completely different than other yes. oxtail because our oxtail is based off a of pepper pot. Okay, okay. You know what? You see, all of that makes it just delicious. I know this is going to be good, and I can't wait to. I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna have to cut mine up in a whole bunch of pieces to eat it, but I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but it's true. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of oxtail at all. But the when you say it's closer to more of a pepper pot and it's got it's got that peppery, you know, ready brownish color to it. That sounds good. That sounds good. So what else? I mean, of course, this is like your signature dish, if you like. Um, what else do you sell in the deli? Sell, what else we can we sell get? regular we so we sell regular plates like every Caribbean deli also. So you get peas and rice with your chicken or chicken curry. You get regular mm -hmm. plates. We're we're also starting to do um like deli sandwiches, like chopped cheeses, um, chicken mm. cheeses, things like that. And then you get like desserts, fried Oreos. We're about to do start doing fried plantains. My little sister had did it the other day, and it's deep fried plantains in like a pancake batter, and it's it's really good. It's sweet. Ooh, it's really good. Oh my god, that sounds nice. So you don't do any of the traditional pastries like pine tarts and. See, when I get a bigger, I'm gonna get a bigger facility soon. Mm -hmm. When we opened up the deli, we did not expect to do the numbers that we did. And that's the thing. My father, he literally can make anything and everything. He's been wow. doing this since he was 11 years old. He could he could make a tennis roll. He could make a cheese roll. He could make a pine tart. He could make a Solara. He could do oh, everything. Nice. Bacon. Sugar cake. He could do everything baking. <laughs> everything. Literally everything baking. When it comes to Caribbean baking, he could do every single thing. He could do every single thing when it comes to Caribbean cooking. He's been yes. doing this since he was 11 years old, and that's why I had to get him his own store and stop seeing him work for other people. Even if mm -hmm. those other people are my uncles and aunties, it, it's not right because they're not taking care of him like they should take care of him. My dad yeah. turned to me the other day, and he said, Josh, this is the most money I've ever made in a year in my life. Wow. I looked at him, I was like, because you're supposed, this is what you're supposed to be making. This is what you're supposed to, this is what God wants. Yeah. And it's, it's yeah. such a feeling to know my dad is happy. He knows when he's gone. He told me he could die the other day. He's like, I'm good if I die. Because finally, I know you guys are okay if I'm gone. And oh I'm like, my God, that is so special. You so know, special. It's such a good feeling to know, you know, my dad is, he's happy finally. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that is such a good feeling. I mean, what else can you ask for? You know what I mean? That is that is what you want is to see your dad, his legacy, things that he loves. He has taught you guys how to do the things that he loves. Exactly. And, and like I said, you will always have people who want who need to eat. People need to eat. You're always going to have people who want food, and then you're going to have the ones who are curious. You know what is this? What is exactly. this? Let me taste this. I must say, taste it. That's it. <laughs> my dad told me that my whole life. He said, Josh, one thing people always are going to want to do is eat. Everybody yeah. needs to eat, Josh. Everyone needs to eat. And That's right. You know, it's a great feeling knowing my dad has taught me and my brothers and sisters a way to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, me and my brothers and sisters can literally go anywhere in the world and make these patties now and live off of them yeah it's isn't feeling like somebody came into the store the other day and he said what you have here is worldwide you'll get a buyer out of at least everybody at least once and then who likes mm -hmm. it will come back but anyone sees you making these patties will want to come try it mm, yes yes is like, there a way that you could is there a way that you could package it um, I mean, I know, I know it's so much better fresh and there and then, right? But is yeah. there a way that you could, you think you could package it and maybe freeze it and then yeah. sell it in a frozen form? 
<laughs> yeah, so we're working on something like that so we could get it in Walmarts, Targets, and everywhere like that with our brand on it because we know it'll do really good. But we don't want to push it and just put it out there and it's something garbage. Yeah. Where we will make sure when you warm it up or put it in the oven or put it in your air fryer, we're trying to figure out the best way to do it and the best way for it to come out, for it to taste good. And when we figure that out, that's when we're going to launch it. We just don't want to release something that's under our standards because we don't yes. want to our name. Oh, yeah. Totally understandable. Totally honest. Because I know you can get Jamaican patties frozen. You know, we yeah. buy it all the time. My son loves it. Um, but, yeah, I'm just thinking. And I know you can get Butterflat because you can either get the dough and you make it yourself. You know, you just sell the dough. Yeah. Or you can just sell the butter flap. So now it's trying to get everything. And you can sell mac and cheese, but it's just trying to put it all together. Maybe you might have to do it in a separate, like, might, like a little kit. See, yeah, ex <laughs> see, that's what we were thinking about. Yeah. Lunchables. Lunchables has those Lunchable snack kits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So we're thinking about doing a grown Lunchable for the dad's. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to come with the butter flap, the mac and cheese, and then the beef patty, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to warm up the mac and cheese by itself the beef patty by itself in the oven, yes. the butter flop. But then the protein is going to come different proteins. You could get an oxtail protein portion, yes. a chicken protein portion, and then it'll have the gravy for that on the side. So then you have to just reconstruct your yes. mess now and create it. So then it makes it something fun also to do mm -hmm. and get it as fresh as possibly you can. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, I know that's going to work. You just got to figure it out. But I'm telling you that it's going to work just as a consumer and as someone who I actually work from home. So being able to like go find lunch every single day, I don't want to cook every single day. Something like that would be ideal. You know, it's, it's reminds me of, um, you know, these uh, food packages that you can, you know, be part of where they come and they send everything to you and you just make them. So I am not, um, I'm not vegetarian and I'm not vegan. But I don't really eat a lot of meat, all right? I will have the sauce, though. Give me the jerk sauce, the oxy sauce. Give me all the sauces. But I, want, I don't eat a lot of meat. So have you thought about doing a vegetarian um, or, vegan um, alternative or a vegan? We have vegan options. Okay, nice, nice. You could get it in a veggie patty now, right? Oh. And then when you bust open the veggie patty, it's up to you. If you're a real vegan where you don't eat dairy products and all that, mm -hmm. you switch it out for peas and rice. Ooh, nice, and you nice. Put the peas and rice, we'll put spinach in there, we'll put a plantain in there, and then you could put some barbecue sauce or yeah. one of the that don't, like we have a vegetable curry sauce you could put, or mm -hmm. we could put one of those sauces for you if you're a real vegan vegan that you don't want no meat in there. Right. But then if you're like a vegetarian, pescatarian type thing, we also mm -hmm. have it where you could put the veggie patty, you could put the mac and cheese, and then you could put shrimp curry. You could put the spinach. Yeah. You know, you could put the different things. So, so we have it to where everyone could yeah. get thin. For the vegans, we do need to probably make a couple more options for them. Like, I really want to start doing a pumpkin and, like, a yam. Ooh, like, I really want to start doing nice. things. But it's mm -hmm. just, you know, getting there and figuring it out and making sure it tastes good. Because you just don't want to throw anything together and just give it to people. Yeah, yeah. No, of course not. And, you know, what I love about, um, you know, just vegan options now, there's so many of them now. You know, before you never really used to have a lot, but no. there's so many of them now. You know, mushrooms, I know, is a, like a meaty type of, you know, feeling. So it feels like you're eating meat with me when you have mushrooms. You have those oyster mushrooms and so on. So, yeah. So I'm exploring a few um, options. I like to make alternative foods using, um, you know, just traditional foods, but use alternatives rather than meat. So yeah. and I've been I've been doing a lot of um, experimenting myself. So like I make a um, rice and peas with quinoa. Oh, okay. So I do quinoa, you know, that's my rice and peas. Um, and then I do make curry. I make vegetable curry all the time or shrimp curry all the time. You know, I stayed away from it. But my kids aren't. So oh. I usually have to make two little two, two pots, one for me, one for them. <laughs> but, you know, that's the world we're living in. People yeah. love options. And I yeah. think that's one of the reasons why some of the vegan places are really taking off all around the country everyone is you know even if they just do it once a day you know once a week they feel like they're doing some good so it's yeah. that is that feeling so um i am definitely coming to your deli you say you've got two locations one in lower manhattan and one in queens yes ma'am okay i am definitely coming to your deli when i come um for labor day i'm gonna come labor day weekend 
I'm going to come to your deli. I'm going to go live. And I want to, I want to do what Kelly Clarkson did. I want to try it out and see if I can get my mouth around it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Probably right. do that live. Probably do that live. But yeah, so this is great. Um, so I know that you said your family works there. Does everybody work there? Everyone's there right now? Yeah, so it's I have all my brothers and sisters working with me. It's such a blessing. Mm -hmm. I have my mother and father working with me. I have my stepmother working with me. I have my uncle working with me. I have some close nice. friends working with me. I have my cousin working with me. So it's it's a great feeling to have all people that I love around me every day when I go in. It doesn't even make it feel yeah. like it, it yeah. just feels yeah. Just feel like a fun time. You know, it's it's yeah. a good. My sister will be arguing while we're working in front of customers. I'll be like, it's just like we're at home, you that's know? Not, like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's part of it. It's like Christmas every day with everybody around. And you just, oh, my God, that must be so much fun. Like um, people I know, this uh, is a real family business. It's, I love it. I'm like, yeah, man, it's as <laughs> early as it's going to get. <laughs> I love it. Your Instagram, and, you know, we'll give your Instagram in a second, but your Instagram is just so much fun. Like you have all these different stories. I see people lining up, everyone that you film eating, the mac patty are just it's for them it's like joy it's a little piece of joy that they're having every day um i know that you had a lunch special for the kids the yeah. school children do you still have that going on you want to talk yeah. about that so the lunch special is what we do for all school all school children it's actually for everybody you know i just promote it more for the school kids because mm -hmm. I, i'm not going to turn nobody away from food and so what they get is like a scoop of macaroni, some peas and rice. They get any chicken they want. And, you know, the kids love it because, you know, they get, I had a bunch of kids that used to go to the McDonald's, the Burger King, and they'll mm. come to that deli and they're like, nah, bro, I'm not wasting my money on that garbage food. That's not good for oh, me. But thank I'm you, Lord. Right and I'm like, oh, I love that, man. Just tell everybody, pull up and take care. Yeah. Of you. Oh, listen, God bless you just for that alone. You know, um, kids are growing up on McDonald's. They, they're eating all of the fast food. I stopped eating fast food. You know, I would eat it if it's the last thing on earth and this, I would go to fast food, but I don't. And I'm so glad that you're doing that for the, for the kids. That is so important. So bless you. Thank you for doing that. Um, Thank so you. tell us where they can find you. Where can, where can everyone find that stuff? So if you guys want to reach out or come look at some food, just check us out. At that's Delhi 190 on Instagram. That's also, we also have a website. That's Delhi. Or just come pull up at one of our locations and come check us out. And that's that spelled D A T Z. Yes, D A T Z <laughs> Delhi one ninety. Yes, that's Delhi one ninety. Oh my God! So, thank you so much for um, thank you so much for your time. I know you're busy, so I don't want to keep you. But I really, really appreciate this time that you spent with us. Um, I'm going to push this. This um, live is going to be out on YouTube. I'm going to push it so that everyone comes to that Delhi. You might expect a line around the corner today again. And, well, you just let me know. I'll post it on my thing, too, so everybody can see it. Thank you so much for having me. And I hope you have a great day, Cassie. Oh, thank you. Yes, I will. I, I hope to. It's like the sun is shining. Doesn't always happen. It was actually cold the last couple of days. What, what's the temperature like in there? Right now, now, it's pretty cold in New York. It's like 40-something degrees, and it's really Ooh. windy. Oh, yeah. But I know when it gets hot, it gets hot. Yeah, it so gets we're nice. down here in Atlanta and it's, um, yeah, it's a little warm. It's a little okay. warm. It's getting warmer this week. All right. Well, thank you so much, um, Josh. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you around again another time. All right, Casey. Have a great day. Thank you so much. You are welcome. You are welcome. So guys, that was, uh, that was that Steli. And for, for anyone who have missed the, um, the, the show, the earlier on if you're just joining us let me um let me just show the video again so this is that steli when they were on the kelly clarkson show okay in and the bread oh i on. love your family okay look at all this look at all this glory hallelujah okay okay now oh, we're wrapping it yep you gotta wrap it okay i'm just gonna roll it oh, yeah that's good that's good okay yeah. that's perfect that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Totally. That's good. That's, totally. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try it. Wait, you're not done yet, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're, not, you're not done yet. Though. No, we're not done yet. Not we're done not done yet. yet. Now you got to put the extra gravy on top. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. I love my job.
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that was that was that study. So they were on Kelly Clarkson, and um, you can see what was going on there. Okay, and you heard the guy that Josh said earlier on today that it's a Matt Patty. This is the home of the Matt Patty. You got the jerk um, beef patty in the butter flap with mac and cheese. And then you add the sauce. You can either have jerk sauce, you could have oxtail sauce. I mean, you know, that's just everything all in one. So can't wait, can't wait. I will put all the details of where to follow them and where to find the deli over there in New York. There's one in uh, Lower Manhattan and also one in Queens. Okay, so on with the rest of the show. So um, my sponsors, La Parkin, La Parkin um, Shipping to the Caribbean and beyond. Right now, um, the warehouse, they, they leave barrels and shipment leave the warehouse on a Thursday every other week. Discounted pricing available. You have to call their office to get discounted pricing. The number is 770-322-7922 or 7923. And also to wear white, to wear white, the tickets are $50 at the moment. There's only a few left. So guys, if, um, if you wanna pay $50, go get your tickets today. The price will go up again once we hit another few weeks. And, um, and as we approach the wear white um, on Sunday, Sunday the 26th of May, so Atlanta Carnival weekend, if you're coming in to Atlanta for Carnival, Make sure you stick around for Sunday. Look, I'm wearing my white today. So I got my white on. Um, and of course, the rest of the colors is for the guy in this flag. So that's where that study is from. Diana, same place as me. So um, let me bring the uh, wear white to the stage. This is wear white. The Black JT and One Associates LOC presents the 24 annual Wear White Ladies Edition, starring Anya Batson and Bonfire. I am the holy, holy, holy Patrice Roberts, Roberts and, and the 18. I said it's all kinds of terrible. Road March King 2024, Mikel Taylor. Oh, oh, oh. And 7301 Stonecrest Concourse, Laconia. Admission $50. At VIP Socio. Physical tickets at Georgetown Food Market. D1 Roti Shop. International Food Market and Caribbean Roti Shop. For more information, contact 678 786-286-6166. And 770-337-399. The 24 annual We're White Ladies Edition on Sunday, the 26th of May. Doors open at 8 p.m. and we're outdoors. Yes, yes, yes. We are outdoors. Okay, so next to the stage, we've got different things to bring to the stage. So this is me this past weekend. Okay, and I'm gonna hold up my uh, my award. So this past weekend, guys, if you were in Atlanta and if you were not, where were you? Where were you? So the Atlanta Caribbean Community um, Awards ceremony was uh, this Saturday and your girl won an award. So I won an award, it's a special award in entertainment in the radio and TV category. So I am just wanna say thank you to everybody. Um, thank you to everybody for my award. Um, I'm excited um, to continue this journey with you all. Um, you know, every Tuesday I am here doing the lunch date show. It's only for an hour from 11 to 12. So don't be late because I start at 11 o'clock on the dot and I do finish at 12 o'clock on the dot. So we got about 23 more minutes with me. Um, so every Tuesday lunch date with Kazi, it's a show for to interview um, movers and shakers from around the world. Um, I do have folks on from the UK, from Ghana, from New York, that we just had New York on the on the live, um, and you know, in other places, and also local right here in Atlanta. Um, I believe I've got um, Mr. Rico Vibes coming up next week. I've got um, just various people just in our community as well as abroad and overseas. So, just something I wanted to do. I wanted to do it at this time of the day, so that um, if I do interview anyone from overseas, um, if they're ahead of us, it's going to be late in the afternoon um, or in the morning. Um, my other show, the promo show, which is on on Fridays now, um, from five to seven o'clock. Again, still early enough to capture um, folks overseas. 
But, um, you know, it's some of my folks were either, you know, in the UK, if it's in the UK, for example, seven o'clock is actually midnight over in the UK. So it's a little late for them to join. So now they've got two options where, you know, I will be hosting both shows. So the promo show with Kazi B, as well as Munch Date, um, which is on a Tuesday today at 11 o'clock. So this Friday, so this Friday on the promo show, I have two guests who will be joining me um, and also a call in. So the African Textile Museum, um, who are actually based right here in Atlanta, the Atlanta area, they have textiles from all over the world, from Cameroon, from Egypt, South Africa, the Ivory Coast, um, even from Guyana, because you know Guyana is a land of six races, including um, Africans. Um, coconut leaf, everything made by nature within the, mu within the uh, museum. So they will be my guests on Friday, as well as a friend of mine called Kojo Paris. Um, Kojo, some of you probably know him if you're um, from Guyana. He is very well known in, in Guyana, in the Guyanese community. I call him a very, very smart man because he is. So Kojo and, and of course the owner of the African Textile Museum will both be joining me on Friday. And we are gonna talk about different things that are happening around the world, just trending topics, um, anything that's happening now. Um, I know that if any of you have been watching the news, you will see that there's a lot of political unrest in, um, in Haiti. So we wanna wish everyone from Haiti, wish them well and hope that things um, kind of settle down in the country. And, and you know, it's very, very uneasy and unnerving to watch uh, what's happening over there. So we wish them well. Talking about, political. So it looks like, well, let me back up. Today is early voting. So get out and vote if you can. The kids are actually off school. Fulton County, which is um, the county that we're in, they are off school today because of um, early voting. There's voting happening. Um, and also, it seems like we're going to have a rematch of a 2020 election with uh, Biden and Trump. You guys are trying to put the Trumpster back in office, so I don't know what's happening there. My take is anyone but Trump. Um, I say that, I'm gonna say that again, anyone but Trump. But Biden is a little older too, so don't really seem that we have much of a choice. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening. And um, he will continue to be him. So, <laughs> so let's get back to other things that are happening in and around town. Um, so like I said, let me go to let me go to my other slide. I want to bring this slide to the stage. So we are still in Women's History Month, of course, and why not? It is March. It's only March the 12th today. So Women's History Month. I have highlighted a few women who I think are amazing and doing amazing things, um, both past and present. So let's start with Cicely Tyson. So Cicely Tyson, known as a trailblazer. Tyson who Tyson will be remembered for her impactful roles, which often told the in-depth stories and struggles of African-Americans. At the start of her career, there were limited roles available to black women, and yet Tyson refused to take on just the surface level, stereotypical maid roles. Do you remember back in the day, like all of the women within those movies used to all be the maids or, you know, somebody doing some kind of cleaning. Um, so kudos to Cicely Tyson for, for changing that. Um, so instead, she was intentional. She's been featured in iconic movies such as Roots, The Help, and various Tyler Perry movies. Tyson brought the harsh reality of Black America to the big screen. She was also known for her community involvement. After the assassination of MLK, she proudly co-funded the Dance Theatre of Harlem. Tyson with roots in St. Kitts and the Nevis. I bet you didn't know that because I didn't know that. I just found that out too. I was like, oh, she's Caribbean. So Tyson with roots in St. Kitts and Nevis regularly received invitations from Prime Minister Denzel L. Douglas to attend the island's annual Grand New Year's Gala. So Cicely Tyson is from St. Nevis. Who do we have next? Perry Washington. Perry Marissa Washington. She is an actress, a producer, and a director. American actress. She gained wide 
public recognition for starring as crisis management expert Olivia Pope in the ABC's drama series Scandal. I don't know if you guys were Scandal fans. I was a Scandal fan. Um, I would love for them to bring um, Scandal back. <laughs> but, you know, if Olivia Pope's not going to be in it, if Kerry's not going to be in it, it's going to be the same. Um, so for her role, she was twice nominated for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series and once for Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series Drama. Her portrayal of Anita Hill in the HBO television political thriller um, was it called Confirmation. Oh my God, I, I don't think I've seen Confirmation. I'll have to, I'll have to look that one up. Um, and her role as Mia Warren in the Hulu Ministries. What many series is Oh, Little Fires Everywhere. Oh, yes, it's yeah. I remember Little Fires. Okay, both earn nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a miniseries or a movie. And she is related to Colin Powell. Just those of you who didn't know. Who's next? Okay, so Calypso Rose. Now, Calypso Rose, when I was researching Calypso Rose, she is an interesting character. These are all the women that I've highlighted for Women's History Month because Calypso Rose, who is still lives in, in Queens. So let me tell you about Calypso Rose. So Linda, MacArthur, Monica, Sandy, Lewis, also known as Calypso Rose, is regarded as the mother of Calypso, a household name amongst West Indians. She has composed over a thousand songs, and recorded over 20 albums. In 2019, Rose broke ground, becoming the first Calypsonian an eldest performer at the popular Coachella Festival. I think this is actually a picture of her from um, Coachella. But Rose is more than just an artist. Her music frequently addresses social issues like domestic violence, sexism, and racism. In 2012, at the New York's Chutney Pride Parade, she came out as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. She was married to for 17 years and counting. Uh, UNICEF has also appointed Rose as a goodwill ambassador for former child soldiers. The living legend currently resides in Queens, New York. And yes, she is a living legend. Calypso Rose, she's got some good music, some real good music. If you haven't heard of Calypso Rose, go look her up, listen to her music. You'll be very surprised. I love, love on me some Calypso and I love Calypso Rose. So next to the stage, Letitia Wright. So Letitia Michelle Wright is a Guyanese-British actress. She began her career with guest roles in the television series Top Boy, uh, Coming Up, Chasing Shadows, Humans, Doctor Who, and Black Mirror, for which she received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination. So if you grew up in the UK like I did, Doctor Who was um, probably one of the most popular series that everybody watched. Doctor Who was, you would run home so that you would, won't miss an episode of Doctor Who. So that's where she started. She then had a breakthrough for her role in the 2015 film Urban Hymn. Um, in 2018, she attained global recognition for the portrayal of Suri in Black Panther, which she won an NAACP Image Award and a SAG Award. She reprised the role in Avengers, Adven oh, I got text coming. Avengers Infinity War 2018, Avengers again, Endgame, Wakanda Forever 2022. That was in 2022. And I believe the next um, Black Panther movie is actually in the making. Um, it's rumored that she, of course, will be there, but there'll be a new Black Panther, probably um, Black Panther's son, maybe? Who knows? But um, yeah, that's going to be exciting. I can't wait to see what else um, she does for, you know, um, her next role. Um, and then, of course, there's Princess Diana, Women's History Month. Um, when you're talking about women in history, you cannot leave Princess Diana out. Um, so Princess Diana, the Princess of Wales, the real Princess of Wales, bold independence, daring fashion, and close bond with her sons made her a beloved member of the royal family. She also uh, 
spoke openly about mental health and HIV awareness, continued to support several charities after her 1992 separation from the then Prince Charles. Five years later, she died in a car crash at age 36. Um, and I know I mentioned this before. I, you know, I still can't believe she died at age 36. So young. So she will always be young and beautiful. You know, we would never see her being old because she died at 36. We'll never see her in that in that light. So she will always be young and beautiful to all of us. Um, and it's funny that I'm now that I'm reading it again, I'm thinking to myself, she spoke out openly about mental health and HIV awareness. So I think they've done a pretty bad job of, um, since then. How long ago this was? Mental health, we still have to speak openly about mental health. Mental health is so real, so real in all of our communities. Um, I really want to do a whole show about mental health. I have to get that set up and get the right people to be on the panel. But um, but mental health is real. It's like we all need some kind of time to get away to talk about mental health. We need to, you know, whenever you go on vacation, I work in the travel industry and trust and believe me, going on vacation is something that I have to do. It's like, you, you can't tell me not to go on vacation. Even if it's just taking some time out, um, going for a drive or just getting away from the four walls that you see every day, a staycation, a vacation, all very important to your mental health. Um, I try and do at least two trips a year. Um, I do have my first trip already um, kind of organized. Um, I'll be heading over to Europe, going to Spain. But I'm trying to think of where else I should go because I do need to get another trip in um, probably soon, within the next month. Within the next month or, or no, not two, within the next month. Spring break is coming up. Where is everyone going for spring break? Spring break will be um, one of those times when you, I think I'll probably need to get away. So talking about that, let me also tell you about um, the other thing that I have going on. And this is why I need a, you know, kind of a mental break, because I do have a lot of different things going on, lots of different moving parts. So in addition to my shows that I do twice a week, I also have on my consultancy arm, I have something called Open Doors in 2024. And this is really to help anyone who right now, um, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking to get a better job, if you're looking to get promoted, Wherever you are in that job search arena, please let me help you. I do have a special right now on Groupon. So if you go to Groupon um, and you put in resume, just the word resume, you should be able to see my offer um, come up. But I am helping you with your resume. I'm helping you with LinkedIn, being able to optimize your LinkedIn. I'm also helping you with um, networking. So if you ever thought, you know, I can't network because there's nobody here for me to network with. No, no, no. You can network online. There's ways in which you can network online. So interview tips, cover letters, um, and just weekly training. I also will proofread your documents for you. So with that sort of help and support, you are, I almost guarantee, I can't say 100% guarantee because I'm not the one hiring you. Um, you would have to do some of that work as well. But I am very, very confident that I can get you either the job that you want, if you are qualified for it, or at least set you up so that you're in the room to be able to talk to people who are either doing your job, uh, the job that you want, or will get you closer to getting the job that you want. And I know that this is going to work, guys. Um, and the reason why I know is I did. I actually went through this process that I have written and I call it the blueprint through this process. Um, I've always worked in either the travel industry or the media industry um, and I was doing staffing in between all of that. So once the pandemic hit and things started taking a downturn, you know, I didn't go back to my travel job. I was working for Delta, didn't go back to Delta because everything had gone, you know, pear-shaped with the pandemic. Um, so it took a couple of years until I actually found the job that I really, really want to do back into the industry that I love. 
So I went through this entire blueprint. I did have to make changes to my resume, a lot of changes. I probably have about five or six different resumes right now because you can't have the same one. It's not something that you can take off the shelf and give it to everybody, to every employer. It doesn't work that way. So resumes have to be adapted. Your LinkedIn also needs to be very strategic. How you, um, if you don't have LinkedIn today, you've got to get a LinkedIn profile. So optimizing your LinkedIn interviews. There's certain things that employers ask you in every single interview. You gotta be ready and you can't stumble with your words because they're gonna know that you're trying to make something up. So you've gotta be ready. Also cover letters, you know, um, is it important to put cover letters or if it, is it not important to put cover letters? It depends. It depends on the job posting. You have to read between the lines. Um, and then networking, networking online, which is very important. It is so possible to network online. I have, you know, you can get names just by networking online. You can get H, names of HR, you can get names of the talent management team, you get names of the hiring manager just by networking online, but there's a way to do it. So I will teach you and I will let you know how to do it all. So like I said, call me, I will be happy to work with you. My number is 202. In fact, it's on the screen as well. 202-550-2923. Call me and let me help you. Okay, another thing I can help you with, because in my other head that I wear, I have many heads and many hats. Um, I'm also a realtor. And right now um, we're coming up to, interest rates are gonna go down a little before uh, June, but you have to be prepared. June is actually a hot time to buy properties or invest if you're looking for an investment. So make sure you're ready. So as soon as the interest rates go down, you are ready to buy that property. I can help you with that. Um, I do have contacts with um, uh, mortgage providers, so with loan providers. Um, also, if you're you know, I don't do credit repair, but I can give you some really good ways on how you can repair your credit. Um, but I do know people who actually do credit repair. So there's that as well. You gotta get ready. It takes about three to six months to get yourself ready. Um, and then once you're ready, getting a home is, you know, there's plenty of homes out there for sale. Don't listen to what anyone's saying. It's a seller's market right now. So buyers, there are lots of homes available right now for you to buy. So, um, but you gotta be ready. So give me a call and I will put you in contact with everyone that I know in my network to be able to get you on the property ladder for 2024. If you wanna get yourself into a home in 2024, now is the time to do it. Again, it's the same number, 202-550-2923. So come on, come on, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now I am going to uh, go ahead and thank my sponsors once once more, because like I said, without my sponsors, the 24th annual Wear White, which is Sunday, May the 26th, Atlanta Carnival weekend. Come on out for Patrice Roberts, Mikael Teja, Nadia Batston. Tickets right now, $50. Okay, they were 45, early bird, that sold out, $50. They are gonna go up again. You can either um, contact the telephone number that is on the flyer, or you could, um, I'm gonna bring the ad to the stage again. There's a QR code on the flyer. So if you see the flyers on my page, you can click on the QR code. Okay, and then we have La Parkin. So La Parkin is a shipping company right here in Georgia. They do um, freight, they ship to the Caribbean and beyond. Right now they have a special, Okay, they have a special. I'm gonna bring um I'm gonna bring this to the stage right now. Hold on. Nope, go back to the beginning. Okay, so right now um they have a special, and the special is you have to call them. There's discounted pricing, so you do have to call them 770-322-7922. Okay, so that's the parking. I'm trying to get the La Parking. So this is our wear white flyer. And like I said, so La Parkin is coming up. So right now they have a special 770-322-7922 or 770-322-7923. So La Parkin Global Freight and Logistics Solutions right here based in Decatur. So give them a call if you want to get your shipping to the Caribbean and beyond. 
okay um so next up next up so this friday this friday on the promo show we have a african textile museum as well as kojo paris they will be my guests so make sure you tune in to the promo show with kazi b and that comes up on friday live from caribbean life tv and also live on the radio caribbean life radio and it's on friday between five and seven so back in our tv let me go back up so this is my the promo show which is this friday we also live on Bacchanal TV. I know I've mentioned it before. Um, it's B-A-K-A-N-A-L dot TV. And this show is also live. We actually have a couple more. We are live on Clark TV Network, um, comprising of the 108 Praise Radio. Um, make sure you tune in. And also to Clark TV Network. So lots of ways to see the shows. Um, so you have no excuse. Make sure you join me again next week, Tuesday. Um, I will be live on my YouTube page as well as my LinkedIn page. Um, so join me again. I can't wait to see you. I do have a lot lined up over the next few weeks. Like I said, I've got some locals who will be joining us. Um, Rico Vibes is gonna be joining us. I have uh, Kenny Blessing, who's going to be joining us. Lots and lots of um, different interviews coming up. Um, and I'd also want to see you, you know, send me your questions, um, send me a note of if there's anyone you'd like to see or to have interviewed, please send me, uh, just send me a note and I will reach out to them. I've reached out to quite a few people actually. So <laughs> I'm excited to, um, to tell you who I have coming up on the show once everyone confirms. Um, I'm hoping to get the, the artist from Wear White as well. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, so again, let me just thank my guest today, That's Delhi. If you have not seen or heard of That's Delhi, you should by now. They have the, they're the home of the Mac Paddy and um, you know, with lots of sauce. You, you saw the video, you saw the video, the, Clark, the Kelly Clarkson video, they were on Kelly Clarkson. Um, so, Definitely go and support them. That's Sally. Thank you again for joining me today on this episode of Lunch Date with Cassie. And guys, I will see you again next Tuesday, Tuesday at 11 a.m. sharp. As you see, I'm very, very strict on time with this show. Starts at 11, finishes at 12. It's 12 or 1. So I'm going to get out of here. But I just want to say thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day.